Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is merge two sorted lists. So in this question, we are given the heads of two sorted linked lists, list one and list two, and we have to merge the two lists into a single sorted list. And finally, our task is to return the head of the merged linked list. So if you take this example, one, two, four is the first list and the second list is one, three, four. If you merge them in ascending order, one, one, two, three, four, four is our output. So let's take an example and see how we can solve this question. So these are the two lists given to us. So first we are going to start by creating a dummy node. So I create a dummy node and initialize the value minus one to it. So this current is also a node which will point to the next element. So here you see both these lists are sorted in ascending order. So first I'm going to pick the two elements at the beginning of both the lists. Check whichever is the smallest. So I pick five and two. Since 2 is smallest, I connect the current node to this. So current.next is pointing to list2. Since we picked this inside list2, we have to pick the next element by moving list2 here. So list2 is now moved here. And list1 is still as this because we haven't processed this element yet. And we have to consider it for our next comparison. So current which was here will be at the last processed element so that it can point to the next node. Now we pick the element at list1, 5 and we pick the element 3, we check which one is less, 3 is the minimum among it, so current will point to 3. We process this element inside list 2, list 2 moves forward to point to the next node inside that and list 1 is still here because we haven't processed that element yet. And now current moves to where the last process node was there, so current is moving here. Now we process the elements at list 1, 5 and list 2 element is 20, which one is minimum, 5 is minimum. So current will point to that element. So current is here. It will go and point to this node. And we move list1. List1 is now here because we process this node inside list1. And current will move to that. So current is also now here. Now we compare the elements at list1 and list2. Again we pick 10 which is list1. So current will point to that. And since we process this, list1 will move forward. And current will move to the last processed element. So current is now here. Now pick the nodes at list1 and list2. List1 node is 15 and list2 node is 20. Pick the minimum among them. It's list1. So current will point to that node. And since we process this element, move list1 forward. And current will move to the last processed element which is 15. So that it can point to the next node. Now pick the nodes at list1 and list2. List1 node is 40. List2 node is 20. Minimum among them is 20. So current will point to that element and since we process this element list 2 will move forward and current will come to the last processed element which is 20. Since list 2 is pointing to null we end our iteration because this iteration will happen until list 1 and list 2 are not null. Since list 2 is null there are no more elements to be processed and our answer will come from list 1. So you can directly point current to the next elements present inside list 1. So in this example there is only one node. If there are many nodes in list1, all those elements will be the last part of the answer. And this is the dummy node, right? So we return dummy.next. Dummy is pointing to this, so this is dummy.next. So we start our answer from here, so that is the new head. So let's form our answer. The first node is 2, 2 is pointing to 3, 3 is pointing to 5, 5 is pointing to 10, 10 is pointing to 15. 15 is pointing to 20, 20 is pointing to 40 and 40 is pointing to null. So this is our merged list which is in ascending order. So we return dummy.next. So dummy.next will start from here. So this is our ascending order list. Now let's implement this in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us. So the list node is a return type because we have to return the head of the merged linked list. This is the function name and these are the two lists, list1 and list2 and their heads are given. Now as I said we start off by creating the dummy node and assign a value minus 1 to it and now I create another list node called current and point it to dummy because in the end we can return dummy.next and this will iterate from starting to end of both the lists and give us a sorted merge list. Now this will happen until both list1 and list2 are not null so let's use a while loop. So this while loop will iterate until both the list have nodes inside it. As soon as any one list points to null, we end the iteration. So for example, list1 is this and list2 is this. 
we compare the first values of both of them and pick the minimum among them. So if list on dot val is less than or equal to list two dot val, then we have to move current to that, right? So current dot next is equal to list one, and we move list one to list one dot next because we already picked that element at list one. We move list one to list one dot next so that we can process the next element. As we didn't pick the element at list two inside this while loop, so the list two remains at that position so that next these two elements can be compared. And in the else block, is the opposite of this condition. If list one dot val is greater than list two dot val, then we have to point current dot next to list two, and then move list two forward because we picked that element. So list two is equal to list two dot next. And outside the else block, we move current to current dot next because current will point to the last processed element, and we are waiting for. The next element to be picked so that current can move there. So outside this for loop, it means one or both the lists have turned null. So we have to check that condition where if list one is not equal to null, which means there are few nodes inside list one. If there are few nodes inside list one, we move current dot next to list one. So it will pick all the elements inside list one, which will be our last part of the merge list. And in the else block, it means. List two is not equal to null, so we move current dot next to list two. Any other nodes are present inside list two, that will be last part of the answer. Now we have the entire list, so we have to return something, right? Current is at the end, but remember we created a dummy node in the beginning called minus one. So minus one dot next will give you our head of the merged list. So return dummy dot next. So dummy. Is at the beginning, and dummy dot next will give you the head of the merged single list. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are being accepted. Let's submit the code, and our solution is accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the shortest list, because we iterate until then. And if any other elements are remaining in the longer list, we point current dot next to that list. And the space complexity is O of one because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.